What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. It's been quite literally a minute since my last video. Uh, it's been a while, but I am excited. I am excited because I have not had the Call of Duty itch in a long time, but it's kind of back. I am down to make videos. I'm down to just get on the mic. I don't want to say daily because it might not happen, but much more often and, uh, you know, cover more content, cover different kind of topics. Uh, I might cover just like Q&A stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, I've had the itch now for it to make videos again, and it's finally back. So hopefully this will lead into the Call of Duty, the next Call of Duty model for three very nicely. But uh, yeah, so make sure to subscribe if you're new and leave a like on the video. But uh, today I want to talk about everything I missed throughout the past week. I was on vacation for those of you who were unaware. Good little trip. Went to Hawaii. It was, it was a lot of fun. Saw the beach. Saw a lot of beautiful scenery. Uh, but yeah, anyway, now that that's all over, let's get into Modern Warfare 2 Season 6, and then I'll cover some of the haunting event. A lot of stuff I missed, so strap in if you missed it. All right, so the first thing I want to cover about Season 6 and Modern Warfare 2 is that uh, it's going to be dropping today, actually, the time you guys are watching this. That's how late I am. Uh, Wednesday, September 27th, which is today when you guys are watching, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, according to the COD team. Hopefully, hopefully there is no update requires restart. Hopefully there's no <laughs> ridiculous BS that's going to go on with that, with that, you know, update and stuff like that. Hopefully that doesn't happen. As far as maps go, because this is like some of the most important stuff, uh, we're going to be getting two new maps, quote unquote new maps. Uh, so La Casa, which is a new core map, and then Coro Village, another core launch map. Then we're going to be getting two gunfight maps, King, which was already came out, which already came out in Mono Warfare uh, 2019, as well as Fight. What a weird name for a map, but okay. Uh, those are also coming at launch. And then two new uh, mid-season maps. I say new very loosely because they are reskins. They are reskins to celebrate Halloween, basically. So El Asilo, it's going to be a Halloween themed map. It looks like it's going to be kind of like on fire a little bit. And then Embassy, uh, obviously, you know, we had in Mono for two. So two reskin maps throughout the season. So no new map uh, for the new, you know, mid-season reloaded, whatever. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I guess it's good that we're getting two at launch, but I kind of would have preferred at least like maybe one reskin and then one new more mul multiplayer map uh, for 6v6. But, you know, it's Activision. What can we expect at this point, right? In addition to this mid-season change, we're going to be getting the Halloween event for Season 6, which is cool. It's actually finally about time that they dropped, like, a themed, you know, holiday event. You know, we, we went past, like, Christmas with, what do we get, Christmas shipment? Do we even get Christmas shipment this year? Like, I don't even remember. Uh, like, I think we got nothing for Valentine's Day, nothing for St. Patrick's Day, nothing for Days of Summer. Like, like we, we literally got nothing, right? <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Anyway, the devs are going to make adjustments in different game modes such as Domination, Kill Confirmed, Drop Zone, and Infected. Uh, Activision is going to implement, you know, like a haunting theme. So, for instance, in Domination, Scarecrows are going to be a marker for, instead of Flags. In Kill Confirmed and in Grind, instead of Dog Tags, it's going to be Skulls you collect. In Drop Zone, uh, there's going to be Crates, and there could be Good Scares, could be Bad Scares. And then infected people are going to appear as zombies. So like like little things, you know, nothing really like game breaking, game changing. But it is cool to see that they're like, you know, trying to change it up, trying to make it like a certain theme out of things instead of just like the same boring thing over and over again. So I guess I got to give Activision some props for that. It's, it's finally about time we get a haunting event. So far in multiplayer, it doesn't look impressive, but let's keep reading. Season 6 is also going to offer a few new weapons. Kind of, kind of cool. Uh, a new assault rifle called the TR-76 Geist coming out at launch. Another ISO uh, SMG, the 9mm, also at launch. A dual Kamas, which is a melee weapon. And then a Doom Chainsaw, which is a mid-season. That's actually kind of cool. The chainsaw is going to be looking pretty interesting. It seems like it's going to be coming out through a bundle pack, unfortunately, uh, which is going to suck. But again, it makes sense. Um, you know, as Activision, they got to make money somehow, right? Season six is also going to add a few new operators. Go figure. A lot of them are going to be, <laughs> well, by purchasing the bundle pass and others are going to be. A lot of them are going to be purchased simply by unlocking the battle pass. However, something else like Skeletor, for instance, is going to be unlocked by purchasing bundles. So big, big surprise here. Uh, we're getting Valeria, a uh, Season 6 exclusive Black Cell Operator. Uh, we're getting Al Simmons, Spawn, Skeletor, Ash Williams, Alakurd, Lilith, and Inarius. A lot of these characters are from uh, Evil 
Dead, um, Helsing, and Diablo 4, it looks like. I have never played any of those games, so I, I couldn't tell you what those things are about. We're going to be getting a lot of operator skins in the battle, uh, in the, um, what do you call it? Yeah, in the battle pass. Uh, so spawn at tier zero, spawn another version at tier 100, uh, burn spawn, creepy clown, violator, disruptor, soul crusher, nikto spawn, and Gaia. So uh, interesting stuff there. That's pretty much it for season six regarding that. It looks like we're, it's, it looks okay. You know, it, it doesn't look amazing. I saw a lot of videos and, and Twitter um, posts while I was gone about saying, oh, season two is going to look amazing, guys. You got to play this game. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, maybe I got to keep reading. But so far, yeah, we're getting two maps. We're getting like three weapons and some operator skins. I guess the haunting event looks all right. Like, let's read more about the haunting event because I have another article here. All right, so the event is going to rec uh, include the return of beloved modes from previous iterations like Zombie Royale, a revamped Vondel, some mono for two multiplayer maps, new weapons, and Halloween themed content. So cool, cool. Let's get into it. The Halloween event begins October 17th. Uh, keep in mind, season six is going to drop September 27th today when you guys are watching this. So yeah, the Halloween event, the haunting event, it's going to be uh, a couple weeks into it. Uh, we're going to be getting something similar to the trophy hunt event. It's called the Haunting Soul event. Basically, when you eliminate a player, they drop a soul, which is going to boost your overall count across game modes. And then you get, you know, exclusive items uh, through that. Hopefully there's like a camo or a cool operator skin instead of a freaking like keychain or, or sticker or something like that. Like, please give us like an actual reward. OK, like it's it's a Halloween event. Please don't make us like grind our butts off just for a calling card. Like, please, <laughs> let's see. I already mentioned the operators and crossovers. I guess if you really like Evil Dead or Overlord of Evil or Diablo or Helsing, anything like that, I guess this is kind of cool because you get a lot of this stuff inherently for free. I think you got to pay for the battle pass, but like pretty much for free instead of like paying it for through bundles. If you're into Warzone 2, uh, Zombie Royale is coming back. I remember trying this back in Mono for 2019. And I was like, it was all right. You know, it was it was kind of like gun game. Like, it's not a bad mode. It's just like, am I going to spend all day playing this? You know what I mean? Like you play gun game for like, what, three matches? And then you're just like, all right, I'm kind of done. You know, maybe play with a friend or something like that. And it's like, oh, I beat you. You beat me. OK, I'm kind of done now. You know, like, is there anything like that, like, crazy that you like feel like you have to keep playing zombie royale i don't know you know i don't really know it looks like almazra is coming back it looks like resurgence of von dell is coming back with a new night version called von dead uh vandalized shops burning vehicles zombie outbreak if you're into that whole atmosphere yeah sure you know it looks cool it looks like it'll be fun for the halloween theme i'm i'm down with it you know I'm, i don't think i'm gonna play warzone 2 as i have zero interest in that but you know if you're into warzone still if you're into halloween stuff by all means you know this is gonna lead me into the i guess thumbnail of the video um <laughs> yeah this is embarrassing modern warfare 2 players flame embarrassing smoke grenade skins apparently in black cell season six of black cell all right, we're going to be getting six new tracer weapon blueprints. That's not bad. Ten operator skins, two vehicle skins, 1100 COD points and more. However, <laughs> however, this is going to be $30, by the way, for those of you who didn't know. However, I'm going to show a picture right now from Charlie Intel. Black cell smoke grenade. We are now designing skins for a smoke grenade, something that nobody can ever see. You think that operators skins are bad because like you can't see them. At least other people can see them. You can't see your smoke grenade. Nobody else on the field can see your smoke grenade. Why would you spend extra money on this? Now, I get that, like, you know, I get like it's part of a bundle. It's not like you're paying like actual money just for this. But the fact that they're trying to sell this off to you, sell this off to the fan base. And some people are going to be like, oh, hey, my smoke grenade looks different than you. Like some like, you know, dumb little kids. That's crazy. It's just that's a terrible, terrible precedent that I don't want to be a part of going forward. Right. What's next? Different frag grenades, like Christmas themed frag grenades, uh, you know, ballistic vests that like light up for like pay to win versions. Just like why? Why do all this stuff? OK, your operator's hand is going to cover it anyway. No. Right. Like a, a lot of people are just in the comments replying like, oh, this is the stupidest thing ever. This is useless. Uh, we're morphing COD into COD mobile cosmetics. Cosmetics in general don't have much place in Call of Duty, at least to me. But the fact that you're going to go this overboard and, and do it for a smoke grenade of all things, that's kind of crazy. All right. I'm just saying that is pretty, pretty crazy. 
Uh, I'm not a fan of it. You know, I, I just don't think that this is a good precedent. I don't want to support people buying the Black Cell bundle. I am not buying Black Cell, never have, most likely never will, unless something majorly drastic changes with it. But yeah, um, that's all I wanted to cover about the, the smoke grenade thing. I just saw this article about it the other day, and I was like, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> actually, actually crazy. But um, yeah, you let me know what you guys think about season six in the comment section down below, since it's pretty much coming out uh, when you guys are watching it like today. Uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, are you going to play it? Are you going to get the bundle? Are you going to get Black Cell? Uh, let me know all these things in the comment section down below. Again, I'll be trying to make videos again going forward. Some of them might... I'm going to mess around with some thumbnails, some topics, you know, if they just completely bomb, then maybe I'll just go back to Call of Duty, I guess. But uh, for the most part, I, I do want to venture out a little bit. Uh, still, we'll always have Call of Duty in the background, most likely, or X Defiant, I guess. But yeah, that's it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being patient with me on my trip. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Okay, I really appreciate that. And with all that being said, thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day. I'll see you guys later. Peace, peace and peace.